Stardew Valley is one of my favorite games, but there's one task I've never completed before. Perfection. With so many YouTubers doing their own perfection runs, I decided to give it a go. What is perfection? Well, there's a percentage for every major task completed in the game, such as achievements, crafting recipes, cooking, fishing, friendship, and more. You can find the tracker after you complete the community center or the JoJo bundles, head to Ginger Island, and collect 100 golden walnuts to unlock Key's walnut room. The farther I've gotten is about 65% on a switch save, which is considerably far off. So I ask you to join me in 1.6. Join me in my pursuit of perfection. So, I created my character, who's completely original, don't look into it further, and decided to choose the new farm type, the meadow farm. Immediately, there's something different about the package we get. While we usually get 15 turnip seeds, we get 15 pieces of hay. Why hay? Well, we'll see that in a minute. After moving my bed and my TV, I set to clear my farm out, craft the chest, and then get to see the reason why we got hay. It's because in this farm, we start with a coop and two chickens. Additionally, there's a unique grass type that animals apparently love, which I'm unsure as to entirely what this does as I didn't delve into the details of the update as to not be spoiled. I cut some fiber to get some seeds, since those are very useful in the early game, and then explored the forest below to see if any changes had occurred. I noticed giant trees, which I thought might be important later, but for now I can't really do anything with them. I went back up to my farm, planted my mixed seeds, and headed to the ears after picking up a forageable. I checked the calendar and noticed some new holidays appeared, two of which being a bookseller, which I was intrigued about, and we'll see that in the next episode. And three mystery days for another mini festival, I'm guessing. I think it's going to be like the winter market where we can get some exclusive items, so I'm going to have to save up a bit of money for that. At Pierre's, I bought one of every currently available seeds since I have randomized bundles. I also noticed that the previous achievements found in other save files could be seen, which is a really cool feature. I cut the fiber next to the community center and sold Farage to Pierre to get a few extra coins for more potato seeds. I went home, planted them, and for the rest of the day, I pretty much just farmed mixed seeds and forage. I sold half my fiber, a horseradish, and several items to start my way on to completing the all sh items shipped achievement and went to bed. On day two, I woke up and checked the weather out of habit, despite knowing it always rains on day three. I left my house, checked my mail, and had planned to get my fishing pole sometime that day. I watered all my crops and collected some wood for a fishing chest, and noticed in the menu it actually displays my house level progress right here, another neat little addition in 1.6. Once I finished my chest, I pet my chickens and cleared out the entrances to my farm, and generally started to clean up a little more before heading out to the beach, collecting a lost book and some farage on the way. Accepting Mario's request for a leak, I continued through town, slowly making my way towards the beach and stealing people's trash. I finally made it at about 12.40pm, collected an oyster, and received an interesting message. It was a level up notification. Such a useful feature, so I know I won't lose energy the next day if I end up accidentally passing out. I introduced myself to Piano Man and made my way back to the docks and fished for around three hours, catching two sardines and two herrings, selling one of each, when I noticed something particularly interesting. A new recipe from Lily I could buy for 10,000 gold. A fish smoker. You place fish inside with coal to create smoked fish, which doubles the price. This could be particularly useful, so this was something that I was going to have to save for. I prefer to have one by fall, so that was my first non-main goal. Fish smoker by fall first. After this, I fished in the river for an hour before catching a sunfish, some bait, and river jelly. I headed home, putting most of my things away and heading for the lake to hopefully catch some largemouth bass. I collected a leak among the way for Maru and introduced myself to Sebastian, finding another leak. I caught two green algae, a chub, three carp, another river jelly, a bullhead, and saw that the jellies were worth quite a bit, which could be useful early game. I went home and concluded my second day by selling all but one of everything I caught. I leveled up in foraging, as was indicated by the message I got earlier in that day, and proceeded on to day three. Quick side note here, apologies about the noises in the background, it's pretty windy. Day 3 was full of fishing, which is very profitable in the early game, and profit is what we love to see. I immediately made sure I put most of my things away before grabbing a leak from Maru and heading back into town again. 
I accepted Demetrius' quest for flounder and stalked Mara outside her house like a piece of celery and fished until I knew she had come out of her room. I caught two chub, three largemouth bass, two bullheads, and two carp. After such, I watched Maru take a leak before heading home, storing my algae, one of my bass, and heading to the beach. I sold the rest of my fish to Willie and continued to fish on the beach for four hours and then in the river for one hour. This time, I caught three anchovies, two herring, four eels, four sardines, one bream, and some treasure bait. Once again, I made sure I had at least one of every fish and sold the rest, pre-refilling my watery can and heading to bed. I leveled up in fishing and earned 749 gold from the fish I sold today. Pretty decent for day three. I watered crops and collected some forage and dug in an artifact spot in the bus station before heading into town. Accepting Penny's delivery, even though I likely wouldn't be able to find a red, very poisonous mushroom in time. Then I unleashed my inner trailblazer and collected trash. I donated the hand axe I found from an artifact spot and collected the money from the donate an item quest before heading up to Pierre's and buying 17 potatoes. I headed home to plant and water them. Turns out, my chickens are fully grown and I never noticed, so I collected four eggs and sold them to not only get the small white and brown egg shipment, but to increase my profit further. I went down to the docks and fished from 12.40pm to 7pm, and the fish that I caught were 8 anchovies, 3 herring, a river crystal, a sardine, and a halibut. No flounders today, unfortunately, but I did hit level 3 fishing and made 726 gold. I woke up and I'm never home was staring at me through my door window, practically shoving the cat in my hands, which I named Kiki. Again, totally original. I collected my planted parsnips, which were just enough to level up in farming, and watered my crops, making sure to save one parsnip in case I needed it. I cleaned my farm up a bit, collecting enough wood to get again for another chest, putting all my fish in. I drove from the bus stop and got the community center cutscene. I bought 15 more potatoes and went dumpster diving yet again, smelling like a sewer at this point. Fun fact, in the animal tracker tab, your pet appears there as well. Also, the cat I use is one of the new textures. So, I headed to the beach, attempting to buy a fishing rod before realizing it was 1800 gold, not 1500. So I hauled all the way back to the farm, planted my potatoes, and went to sell Lily my anchovy and sea jelly. Wait. He doesn't buy the sea jelly. And so, my trip was absolutely wasted, as there was no forage on the beach, and it was going to close by the time I got back to my farm again. So, a bit annoyed at myself, I went to the community center to trigger the Minecraft enchantment table speak menu, and went home, watering the potatoes I planted. Since I had the lines unlocked by this point, I decided to take my rage out on poor amorphous blobs. I headed into the mountains, picking up two leeks and two horseradish, and finally went into the mines. I got a happy shirt, but it did not cure my depression, so I threw it in the trash where it belongs. I collected a total of 12 copper ore, 1 diamond, 3 quartz, 1 amethyst, and 1 geode. Going to bed after selling more things for the shipment and achievement, I reached level 1 mining and 1 farming. So today was an entire bust. I woke up to the sound of God pissing on my roof, meaning today women would fear me and fish would want me. It's only day six and I'm already losing my mind. The first thing I did was go to the forest to cut some grass and roll up joints with the wizard. Now I can see what my first bundles will be. Unfortunately, I got most of the usual bundles, so it's about the same. However, I did get one new bundle, the forest bundle. I believe this is new to 1.6 as I need 10 moss. 10 acorns, and 10 maple seeds. I've never seen moss before. I'm guessing it's in the secret woods or in another season. Since it's Saturday, before I can fulfill my scaly destiny, I have to collect the forage before it despawns tomorrow. I immediately tried to catch a catfish before realizing she was trying to link me to her tits and bio and decided it wasn't for me today. I can catch it in fall if I have to, or even summer in the secret woods, so I went to the ocean since an eel is easier to catch anyways. 
I caught a Genshin Impact player's room full of garbage before finally catching something that was worth my suffering. Besides the garbage, I caught a total of two herring, five sardines, one flounder a day after the quest with Demetrius expired, of course, two eel, and a magma geode from a chest. I sold all my fish besides the flounder and spent the rest of the day collecting forage before it despawned. Unfortunately, no leak, as I sold it a few days ago. The consequences of my greed. I made a bit less today, 504 gold, and on to the final day, to this video. I woke up and collected all my crops before I started to deforest my farm to craft another chest for my storage fetish. I found out what the blanked out thing next to my house level was for, mining levels, which is neat. So I collected a bunch of crap to donate and my geodes and headed to the blacksmith who opened my geodes. He wants to open Emily's book too, but I don't want him to. I donated everything I could, collected my cauliflower seeds, and went to forage for leeks so I could complete the first bundle. While foraging, I also noticed that the traveling merchant sells fair seeds in bundles of five now, which is pretty useful for later. I collected three dandelions, three horseradish, and sixteen spring onions and stored all. I planted my cauliflower and finally found a leek in the mountains along with another horseradish, which I gave to Lyman. Thus, I was able to finish bundle one. Taking a look at my new bundles, there was something I noticed about the new spring crops bundle besides the randomized crops. A carrot. They added carrots to start you. I wonder if you can give them to rabbits as a treat. For the fish tank, I have the normal bundles, which is a bit of a shame, but it'll have to do. I headed home at 7.20pm, finally crafted a scarecrow after forgetting for several days, and collected money from the quest. Now, one thing about the preceding quest is that you usually have to build a coop next, but since we already have one, the quest makes us build a silo instead, which is honestly a lot simpler, unless they change the silo price, in which case I'll be sad. I used the last of my few hours to plant 10 of my 30 spring seeds, selling 20 of them and going to bed. I reached level 2 foraging, and the profits for today were 1,110, which is great. Now, for the overview. This week, I've made a total of 5,767 gold. I've caught 16 types of fish slash water forage. I've shipped 16 items needed for the all items shipped achievement. I've donated 6 items to the museum. I've minted down 5 levels in the mines. I've achieved 1 achievement, the fisherman achievement. And I've leveled up to farming level 1 and mining, level 2 foraging, and level 3 fishing. So that's it for today's video. It's pretty long for my usual videos, but I think I like this longer style. It I put a lot of effort into this video, despite how my voice may sound monotonous. Um, but anyways, I had a lot of fun making this. Um, I had a couple of giggles while making this too. So um, anyways, I appreciate it. And goodbye.